Our next main event sequence match is in the super heavyweight division, ladies and gentlemen. And it will take place between athletes from Kazakhstan and Georgia. First of all, let's welcome our Georgian athlete to the table. This man is a monster. The heaviest man here at East versus West 5 at 145 kilograms. Welcome the Georgian giant, Rivas Lutidze. Revas Lutidze is standing almost two meters tall, 145 kilograms. We've seen him before facing Michael Todd and Derek Smith right here in East versus West, getting a couple of victories and being ready for a different challenge. And the challenge is in front of him in Artyom Morozov. Right now, Revas is looking very good. Let's see if he can keep the streak alive. And I think it's the same thing that Artyom Morozov is thinking of. Presenting Kazakhstan, he is one of the brightest rising stars of the modern sport and a massive individual at over six feet five inches tall. Please welcome to the table Mr. Artem Steel This man, a lot of people describe him as the Terminator. He really is the perfect specimen for arm wrestling. As standing at some six foot five inches tall, 135 kilos. This man is built for arm wrestling. Only 25 years of age. There is so much promise in, in this man. We've seen him with impressive victories over names like Dave Chafee. Today he takes on Georgian Rivas. And this will be an opportunity for one of these men to really step forward and declare that they are coming for the top ranked guys. Yeah, I think these two are the guys that are right now gunning for. There's a lot of guys that are gunning for that number two spot behind Levan Saganishvili in the world to see who is the next challenger. And I think this is one of the pairs of, uh, we're going to see another pair today, of the guys that are up for that challenge. Revas Lutidze, Artyo Morozo. Artyo Morozo coming back from a victory over Dave Chafee that today is going to pull Hermes Gasparini. Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to be joined by Neil Pickup. And uh, Ryan is going to take a little break. Yeah, new pickup is coming back. We're getting ready for round number one. Usual setup for Morozov. We're right now getting ready to roll this match. A lot of anticipation between both of these guys. Referee is trying to figure out if everything is straight. Good. Go. And it's Revas with a, with a great top roll. We saw that Morozo's hand buckled a little bit. Maybe he wants that strap. I think he was going for that strap as well. We know Morozo can really, he can hook and he can top roll if he wants to. And for him, it's more of finding the right path to the victory. What are your thoughts, Neil? I think both men will love the fact that this is going to the strap. We know they're both well-rounded. We know that they want to anchor this match and make sure that they do damage to that hand and wrist. Rivas. Huge reputation from the Georgians. Acid test here with Steel Morozov. Steel Morozov coming in after a great performance every time he pulls. Uh, the last loss he had was against Evgeny Prudnik, and I, we feel like he has increased his power a lot since then. And right now is looking for that top spot. Right now, ranked number one armor with left arm on the planet, and he will defend that title today versus Hermes Gasparini later, but right now it's all about Revas Lutidze. Can Revas Lutidze take that hand? Revas is looking for that good top roll. We saw that against Michael Todd, didn't work out, ended up with a flop wrist press. So we know there's a lot of options for both of these athletes. Even though Morozov is such a big man here, you feel like Lutidze will try to be the bully. He's a huge individual. He's put on so much size since last time we saw him. And 145 okay. kilos Take in weight. Take a grip. And more, more, let's more. just listen in. Okay. Good? Good. Okay. Well, I was off just wanting to get that really Sorry. tight application of the strap. Speed will be yeah. the weapon. No. I feel like Morozov's looking a little bit more of an inside arm sling game right now. And Revas is still looking. He's way closer. Revas is still looking for that top roll. If he can take the wrist of Morozov, that's a big thing. But Morozov's wrist 
Risk. It's made of steel. Let's see if he can do it. Risk. He's going to try to get Rivas off the ball. Oh, oh, turns oh. him in into the hook, but Rivas is so close to the pin pad. A lot of side pressure. Very close. Can finish him. Like, exactly like that Isiplenko said yesterday in a press conference. Morozov is going to play that defensive game, and, Moro and Revas will play that attacking game. It is exactly how it's playing out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are deep inside, and still Morozov with a win. And look wow. what that meant to the young Kazakh. He absolutely loves that he's got points on the board. And the real reason behind that is that he also is aware that he can get the match where he wants it to be, and if he does, he can win it, Ray. That wrist flexion was insane. The way he just turned it in, we're gonna see a replay very soon. The way he just turned him in was insane. There was, it wasn't like just a little bit. It was full wrist flexion. He got a deep cup in. He was still, he let Revas to get on his pronator, but still he had a lot of power to power through him. Look at, at the one point, depth on the wrist, Ray. Oh, Look at the depth so on that deep, wrist. So deep, exactly like you like it. Incredibly, everybody I know likes it, Ray. Exactly, exactly. Deep inside. I believe that is the key for the victory for Morozov today. But we have seen a lot of things from him. If needed, he can press one round, and both of these guys are sweating like crazy. Absolutely. Look at Rivas Lutzidza there. He is blowing like Michael Ton in a commentary booth. Or was it uh, Todd Hutchings in Eskimo? Everybody knows. Everybody <laughs> knows that that was not Michael Ton. No, it wasn't. No. No. Oh, it, no. It it takes a lot. First round straight that war. We'll see who has more endurance right now. Revas will for sure look for that pin without the strap if he can take the hand and he can get it bent down. But it played out exactly like Denis Siplenko told that yesterday yep. in press conference. He said Revas will be the one who's attacking and Morozo will be the one who is defending. It's one to nothing on scoreboards. Morozo leading by one. Interestingly there as well, you saw that there was a little bit of panic for uh, Tom Morozov. When that thing hit the hook, he didn't expect the big counter. Didn't expect all that Absolutely. weight to come charging in there. And it took him a moment. It took him a moment to I gather would, his I thoughts. I would just take a look at Michael Todd match and I would expect all of those things from Revas. He has a lot of pressure coming in when he wants to. I kind of feel like he had a game plan. And the game plan was that he could shut down the back pressure, shut down that attack on his own hand and wrist, that he would be what is in this? control. What is this? This is an Have elbow foul. foul. Here? There's it's an elbow foul. foul. It's a reset. I guess they look at the video or something. So we're still in a round one. I think it's an oh, elbow it's foul order. for Morozo because there was a jump in the middle of the table and Revas was calling for it. Referees didn't stop it. They thought it was a minor infraction of the rules, so they didn't stop the match. Now, interestingly, in our last matchup, we saw this same soup warmed down, down. over with John Brzezink and Oleg Petrenkov. Holy shit, that match. I loved it, Ray. I, was I wasn't up. here, and I, won. I was right there in front of John's. Amazing. <sighs> There's it's a reason insane. why he's everybody's favorite arm wrestler. This is this is the reason why arm wrestling is the best sport ever. Our goat is still playing the game and he's still kicking ass every day. Now here we go. The hand and wrist so important for Rivas, and you can see that he's much more diligent this time. He's driving forward that lower palm, trying to then increase the height of the index finger knuckle. Look at Morozov. So one elbow foul on Morozov, still round one, a restart. Interestingly, that may also slow Morozov down a little bit. He might want to just temper that hit. He was not happy with the big calf. Difficult thing is, you see, we're on the bigger pads tonight, guys, and, and that's in, important for, for Morozov because this is a six foot five athlete. He's got a lot of reach anyway, and he's got more pad to work with him. I, I, I think it kind of equalizes, equalizes it because Revas has that advantage too. And he yeah. does, but yes. only if he can get to the back I, of the pad. And yes. at the moment, he's, yes. been, he's, been he's right not managing front. to get there. No. The, the point that I'm making there is it's fine to have the, the extra little bit at the back if you can secure the hand and wrist. Then it swings in your advantage. But Revas knows that on that first start, he wasn't even close to getting what he wanted. No. 
Got charged There's in there. so much, so much hand from Morozo. I have, we have seen it before. He cups in like crazy. I believe his can is his main weapon, even though he looks like a truck. Riva's not happy there at all. Needs to keep his mind on the match. Look at Morozov, 100% focus for the young man. And straight away, finds the position, Morozov, and we are deep inside. Big drive from Rivas, committing, but Morozov again, settling himself, basing that elbow, soaking. The big hits from the Georgian, watch for the counter. Starts to rev there, squeezes round and adjust, but Rivas in a much better position. Surely there for Morozov. He's still hanging in there, and the ref saying no, release of the pen as well. What's going on? Let's see what's the call. Uh, I'm sure winner the Morozo. Has been this goes to the, wow. this goes to the Morozo. Uh, a victory. Expect a Georgian protest here, oh, I imagine. Oh. <coughs> and the big thing that Rivas has on his side, as everybody could see there, he's actually got Zeus as one of his cornermen. Stop. Second elbow foul. Second elbow foul <laughs> for Morozo. Winner Rivas. So they changed the call three times in this match. Referees want to make the right calls. They they, they talk. And they discuss and I must admit I wasn't surprised by that I think um yeah I saw it too I saw that but I didn't know if like it was just, it can be a small foul or it can be a big foul in this case you know we're we're really Engedi really wants to have good matches for not only athletes fair matches but he wants good matches for audience now watch so on the replay if we see it this time ray just watch the back of the pad i mean there was a little pop there now we're not going to be seeing those given tonight but we're actually missing where it where it where, there it is we just yeah, came onto to it there at the back I, of the pad and Reeves called it straight yeah, away yeah we, we don't see it we don't see it yeah got a bad angle. angle on that one yeah right what's okay. that elbow it may have come in a little late there Rivas called it. No, and then it, looks, it looks like it. For me, it looks it clean. There, it? it looks clean. It looks clean. From where we saw it, it did. Yeah. But I think the refs for sure made the right call. They they talked to it. Maybe the elbow went over the pad, and you cannot win the match if your elbow is over the pad. The other thing that's absolutely certain is that yeah. Morozov let go of the gripping peg yes, absolutely. to get the extra leverage absolutely. in the fin. Absolutely. And again, you cannot do that. Just doing some squats in the corner there to make sure that the blood no, goes no, to no. his legs. No, no, today is the day that he needs to do squats. Every oh, Armistad really? has one day every year where they do their squats. So today is Morozo's day. We all know it's November 19, 2022. So it, it is, is the day, yeah. Rivas is topping up on the water there. And trying to relax. I'm sure his mind is playing a few tricks on him right now, even though... He's one to the good. He will very much feel oh, man, like he's not one to the good. He's going to feel like he's losing this arm wrestling match. And more important than the score itself is how you feel about things. And I'm sure right now that whilst he's won down, Steel Morozov feels like he's in control of this match. On the first two starts, he was the man who got control. And... I think he's going to do it again, Ray. I think he looks like he can get what he wants in that, these matches. That wrist is mental. That the ability to cup is so strong. The problem is when he cups so deep, he ends up in position where he compromises his pronator, and it's way harder to get out of position when your pronator is low and your opponent's arm is on it. So what he needs to do is stay higher. If he can stay higher and bring Revas to his side, not the other way around. He's in control. No. Rivas couldn't move Ready, any more to the oh, we right see a top side. Row. He's got the hand and wrist there, totally secured. Can he hang on to? Oh, great oh. adjustment! Oh. Did he lift on that? He must have lifted on that. Oh. That Whoa. was such a great counter. It really was. Out of nowhere, you never, you, you, you don't expect it because you're still fighting for that thumb, and he's like, eh. I'll tell you what it is, Ray. If uh, Rivas Latidza hasn't bought a lottery ticket today, he damn well should have done because he is riding his luck. Big time. I mean, he was in serious trouble there. He got reversed, got the elbow foul, and he gets a get-out-of-jail-free card. We go again. Yeah. Georgians right now are at top of our wrestling game. We have three guys, I believe, that are in top ten right now. Okay. And Revas wants to climb higher. So, And we know he's a warrior. We saw that in a match versus Michael Todd. He doesn't give 
up not a backward all. step in Imre. Here, there really no, isn't. But no. what we are seeing here is Morozov is finding a way to get to where he wants to be every time. He looks more athletic, he looks faster, and he's very sharp at the table tonight. Oh, reversing Great. top roll straight top to roll. the bad. Wow. 1-1 one, one equalizer. That's the equalizer Morozov feels he has this match. He's so versed. He's looking at him, you know he's an athlete. Like he's he's lean. He's in good shape, so and he has great endurance. We saw that versus versus the Dave Chafee match. The <laughs> even time to pose for the camp. Now watch guy, this reversal here. That guy has charisma for Lost his That's hand and wrist. Boom! There it Boom is. In. Drills it in. Oh God! I'll tell you what. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. You saw it? Did you saw it? I'll tell you. That was a micro foul. Let's have a look at. Look, watch more. Oh, we're going to see the second, yeah. the reversal. I would have liked to see that first one again. If we are we going to see it here? Let's just have a look at those elbows. Keep your eyes fixed. No, it's going to be the reversal again. Great pin, but that first one slightly, slightly dodgy, right? Maybe. Morozo is a. Uh He's becoming one of the best super match pullers in super heavyweight class. He's, it, it doesn't mean he's, he's so strong that he can be really dominant, but he finds a way to dig himself out of the holes he's got in his. The like, scary thing about him, Ray, he's still a puppy. Still this, a puppy. I mean, I hope to God he stopped growing, but he, he is only no, a puppy. No. This guy has so much headroom, and he I, can get I, so I much better. I remember when he was 1 meter 50, and now he's 190 or something, or 2. Next time we'll see him, he's like seven foot tall, easy. I bet he, I bet he grew out of his bunk beds at home pretty early. There's no doubt about that. But what, 195 centimeters. Six what foot four. Six foot six feet. Surely he's taller than six, six four. Six foot four. That's, six foot four? That's that what, man's bigger than six foot four. Yeah. Is, is, did Ryan do this? Did yeah, Ryan it sounds like one of Ryan's down? measurements. That We're blaming you, Ryan. <laughs> Let's have a look. Here we go. And, uh, Round number three. One of the things that the athletes were saying downstairs is that they were losing a bit of purchase on the gripping peg, highly polished gripping peg, and you could see oh, Morozov right. there just choking really? it up a little bit. Because earlier in this round, in the, in the match, in the first yeah, round, he, he lost purchase, yes. and it cost him the match. Yes. So. But did you hear it from the other athletes as well? Yes. Okay. Yeah, a couple of the guys down there said that. And the it, and table is fresh. It's custom yeah. made just for this, so we can expect some, you know, and things to And one of the guys different. that mentioned it was actually his teammate, Zeranov. So he's come in mm. ready for that. And yeah. you can see him applying the choke just to make sure that he doesn't fall victim to that again. Yeah. Big drive, big ooh. Whoa. elbow. Insane, that. insane. Revas is is. I, I feel like Revas needs to get the strap and maybe get that. Focus I'm a little concerned for him, mate. He looks like he's gassing. He, he really does. Yeah. He's gassing for sure. And I know how that feels, Ray, because people won't know that between here and the stage there are three flights of stairs, Ray. It's like, Three it's like flights 10 meters. of stairs. It's like 10 meters. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not as yeah. fast as I used but to be. But did you take advice from Mindaugas when he said you should look some way? <laughs> take the lift. Anyone that looks like a snowman hey, should take the lift. I don't know which match. I think this is match number 10 already. We had some amazing matches today already. And, okay. like, it's insane. We're going to see Morozov again yeah. in action. And I'm sure that's in his mind. He'll want to put yes. this away quick. But Rivas looks like he's... Gassing a little bit in that hand and wrist, and it needs to be sharper. Oh, Morozov. Deep Morozov's hook from Morozov. Deep hook from Second Morozov. Foul, Second elbow it? foul. 2 1. Morozov is in the lead, and I believe he has secured his victory. If Revas doesn't change anything drastically, it will be very hard to beat this man right now. He has the top roll, he has the hook, and he has the damn charisma. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be honest. At this point, with the confidence that that young man's projecting, I think uh, Reeve has a need to change more than Madonna in one of her concerts to walk away with a win here. He is absolutely mopping the hand and wrist of Rivas up every single time, and he's also oh, watch these elbows here. Watch Morozov's elbow if we see it. God, that, oh, it was off the front. It was Rivas off the front. It was Rivas off the front. Yeah. Glad we saw that again because it was a little bit controversial, but it's absolutely accurate. And there's the, the second call, and that was an absolutely clean flush top roll. Morozov showing that versatility, and he's having fun up there, Ray. He's really enjoying himself, showing what he can do. I feel like every time we see Eretan Morozov, he's improved a little more. And Rivas 
it's hard to see him carving himself back into this match at this stage. It really is. There doesn't seem to be a lot of options there because he's losing that first couple of inches. What I see weird from Morozov is like literally every time I see him, he's improving. He's getting better and better and better. Like since first time I saw him in East versus West and I've been following him for quite some time, he's just been improving, improving. Like I didn't expect him to beat Dave Chafee and he did that. Right now, in the most dramatic fashion. In the most dramatic fashion. The guy is a true warrior, absolute stud. Round number four. This is it. This is. Revas needs to do something. He needs to take this. If he doesn't, it's Morozov's victory. Is how most people expected it. And it's a flash pin. Artyom Morozov, pure dominance getting back from round one that shows he's becoming a specialist he's a man becoming an absolute dominant ray utterly dominant great performance from a solid puller he's becoming a specialist in armistice super matches right here on the biggest stage we're going to take a replay at the all three or sorry four rounds of this super match Artyom Morozov, we're going to see him one more time for sure. So we see they're both set in that hook. And there's, this was the round one. There's still some, some elbow fouls and it was called for Revas. But Artyom stopped the match, got in position where he wanted to. Without the strap, it looked like Revas was in control. But after, as soon as the match got in, it was Artyom. Round two. Three and four, Morozo just showed the, how to say, full spectrum of arm wrestling. Great victory for him. Revas is a tough opponent. Revas is still on that top, but Morozo is the one guy that I believe we will see much more with both arms. His left has been his best arm. This is why he's the number one ranked arm wrestler on the planet. The right arm has been catching up in a big time. We didn't expect him to win the matches that he did. He's becoming one of the best super heavyweight super match pullers on the planet right now. A true specialist. Yeah, look impressive stuff. Just having a look at the replay now. My goodness, Morozov. Uh, <laughs> showing the strength and then consistent endurance like uh, as Rivers just wore out. Morozov looks like he's just so consistently powerful. Uh, as as we've many have said, one of the most promising people in arm wrestling. No doubt we're going to see him continue to climb the ladder. Uh, but now let's cross to Adam Taranenko with our winner. Top roll, King. All right. Hello, Artem. Congratulations on your win. Did you expect anything different from Rivas during the match? Во-первых, всем привет. Салам алейкум. Всем. Благодарю за поддержку. Я очень старался. От Риваза я, в принципе, этого и ждал. Мне хватило того, что он сделал, потому что очень сильный человек. По-моему, он не с этой планеты, откуда-то с Криптона прилетел. Не знаю. Uh, I was expecting everything like that from Rivas. He actually, I don't think he was actually from that same planet. <laughs> He's really, really strong, so uh, there is that. And... Um, what was your strategy coming up to this match? По вопросам стратегии обращайтесь к Бабкену и Денис Цыпленкову. Это они стратегию разработали, действовали по ней. Я сам не знал до конца, что буду делать. Well, for the strategy, I would like to thank Bobkin and Denis Cyplinkov because they actually picked the strategy how to approach this match. So thank you to them. Um, who would you like to pull next? Я сейчас планирую отдохнуть полгода до следующего лета. А там, что скажет Энгин Терзи, с теми будем бороться. I would like to take a little bit of a break, maybe five, six months until the next summer, and then whatever Энгин Терзи will 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 make me to do. Thank you, Artem. Congratulations.